Hello, and welcome back to FE7 Elowit Hard Mode 0% Growths. Attentive viewers may notice this is not Chapter 17, this is Chapter 16X. I said at the end of last episode that I would see you next time for Chapter 17, but I forgot that there is a Gaiden chapter if you save any of the green units, which we did. So here we are at the port of Baden. Um... So the objective of this map is to talk to Fargus with any of your units. Um, the There's basically two ways to do this map. One is to go around the top where there's a bunch of weak enemies, and one is to go through the center where there's a bunch of strong enemies. Um, it's a little hard to tell at a glance which are, the, which, are which, but at least in terms of the pirates, um, the ones with high HP, so like 28, 26, 27, those are strong ones. 21, 21, 21, 22, like these guys are all weak. Uh, relatively speaking, I mean. Uh, and then these two are strong, and this one is weak. There's also a group of um, Black Fang units led by Damien that show up down here uh, at the uh, uh, during the second turn. Anyway, so going up is slow, and I don't want to do it. Uh, so that's not what I'm going to do. Um, meanwhile, uh, we've got a small party that we can deploy for this chapter. I'm basically taking all my units, uh, mounted units, except for Lowen. And I think that pretty much covers it, so let's go ahead and get started. So, first thing to do is to go recruit Kanas from this village. Are they considered villages or houses? Yeah, village. Um, so Kanas, um is, as a mage, not that much better, really, than Urk or Lucius um, in terms of stats. He does have more magic. Um, I think his speed is the same as Urk's, effectively, because uh, of having to hold the flux, which weighs, uh, slows him down by one. I forget what exactly Lucius is, but I think, I think Lucius has nine speed, but I think Kanas has more magic than both of them. Uh, but the most important thing is he's level eight, so he's close to promotion. Um, and we do have the opportunity to get a Guiding Ring in the next chapter, so uh, he will definitely be the candidate to use that. Um, I mean, I guess it'd be nice if Priscilla was, but <laughs> we're nowhere close to that point. Anyway, um, yeah, so the next thing we want to do is have Marcus visit this house, this Devil Axe. And then come up here and get Fargus to call us Moon Calves. Um, so yeah, that'll trigger all the strong enemies to move on us. Uh, we're out of range of this group uh, because this guy's killer bow is too scary. So I don't want to take that on. Um, but he will take on these couple guys. And then uh, we're going to move Kanas around here. Kent is going to go park over here. Sane is going to rescue Kanas. And then Priscilla is going to take him and drop him there. While Elowood comes over here and sets up to uh, block the pirates coming down from the top. So the idea with this strategy is that uh, bringing bringing the is to bring the strong units uh, against our units to the south and open up a lane for Florina to fly across and visit all the villages towards the top and then m once we clear out enough of the units in the center Marcus can cut through and go talk to Fargus. Um, if I were trying to do this in as few turns as possible without accounting for the villages, it's possible that this wouldn't be uh, quite what I need to do. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I am going to visit all of them, so I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, okay, so now we need to heal Marcus. He does sometimes not take damage here, but most of the time he does, despite the fact that the enemies should, by my reckoning, have like a 30% hit rate against him, so it's pretty annoying. Um, okay, so he does 15 to that guy with the bow, and Kanas does 14. Yep, that's what we need. Let's do that. And 
now we can just rescue uh, Kanas and Priscilla. And Eloid is going to come back and take and drop off Priscilla. And then Florina, I'm going to double check that it's safe for her to fight that guy um, with the javelin. So she'll visit here, pick up the shortbow, and then cut across to where only that mage can attack her. Which will set Marcus to be able, up to be able to kill the mage later. So an interesting thing about the reinforcements down there with Damien is that Damien doesn't always move. And as far as I can tell, the reason for that, I could be wrong about this. I'm really not sure. But as far as I can tell, the reason for that is that Damien tries to move first and there are enemies in his way so he doesn't bother to move. Um... I really don't have a better explanation than that for why he moves, because I've had, I've definitely had him attack Marcus uh, with slightly different setups for this. But his his buddies will attack Marcus, or at least one of them will, depending on whether Marcus can uh, take both of them out or not. Like the first one out, I guess I should say. Yeah, he didn't, so the other one won't move. But he would have. Um, but yeah, Damien totally could have attacked Marcus from here, right? And he just, he just didn't. I don't know why. Anyway, okay. So um, we've got to have Marcus come up and finish off this mage. I mean, I guess we don't have to, but we're going to. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, he can come and talk to Fargus next turn to end the chapter. Lorena is going to visit this village, get the sleep staff. Send that to Merlinus. Um, so there is this shop here, um, and I did... Uh, consider spending an extra turn to visit the shop, but it turns out that everything that it sells is sold in the next chapter anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, meanwhile, we want to set ourselves up to just get some XP with our remaining units. Um, the first thing we can do towards that end is just heal Elwood. Um... And then, this guy is pretty tough. I don't really want to take him on. Um, what I think I want to do... Let's see. Yeah, is move, move Kent around to here, but out of the range of that mage. Which he is, anyway. He's going to equip a... Oh, wait. This is the guy? Yeah, that guy has a steel lance. So he's going to equip an iron lance. And then we can have Ellawood pick up this kill. Insane come in and pick up this kill. I don't know why this guy is going after Marcus and not Kent, who has a lance equipped, but I, I'm guessing it's because the AI prioritizes people on low health or something. Only reason I can think of. Alright, so this will be the last turn. Lorena can go get the Lance Reaver. Marcus will talk to Fargus, so before that we just want to get some more XP. Da, 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 da. So we can heal up Kent with Priscilla. It's really more about staff rank than XP, but who's counting? Um, unfortunately, this layout over here makes it a little tricky to do this, so we could try doing that with Sane. 
which I think might actually be... Yeah, well... NUT! As Gordon would say. Alright, let's see if Ella would can crit. Nope. Oh well. I doubt Kent has a better chance to crit against this guy. Unfortunately, he doesn't double anyone. Yeah, it's all rather sad. Alright, uh, and just to double check, that is four turns for chapter 16x. We made it. Us whelps. I thought we were moon calves, I guess we're actually just whelps. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time when we will actually do chapter 17. Until then.